Nearly a quarter of a million dollars would be poured back into the community. Isn't this amazing. Two former NFL players and some country artists as well held a fundraiser for mental health services after the Covenant School shooting. Our Lydia Fielder shows us exactly where that money is going today. It's been almost one month since the shooting here at the Covenant School and folks with the fund recovery want to make sure now just as much as when it first happened, mental health support for the community is still strong. I don't want these kids to just think that this is normal. Yeah. And right now it's it's coming off like it's normal. Fund recovery's goal in wake of the shooting is to take away financial barriers and other obstacles so that those affected can get counseling. We want to spread that love and spread the idea that we're all in this together. Obstacles like stigmas or fear surrounding speaking out. Hopefully can allow these kids at a young age to these adults to be able to say, hey, it's okay not to be okay. Former NFL star Eric Decker and country musician JT Hodges say their message as ambassadors who helped raise $230,000 for counseling is talk to someone. Like just having that conversation and finding someone you trust and to be able to be vulnerable with is so important. It's a message Decker knows all too well. Because I think I didn't want to like relive those emotions. Um, a school shooting survivor himself at age 16. It was something that I never really digested and, and coped with when I was younger. And I, I let it kind of live inside until, you know, things like this happen. Nine different mental health practices who provide clinical services will get grants. Southeast Psych Nashville is one of them. These are families that are going to need support. They're going to need education. They're going to need therapy um, for weeks and months to come. Fund Recovery also bought 400 children's books about dealing with trauma, 120 already delivered to the Covenant School. It's giving the parents the words to say because it's in the book, and it's giving the kids the tools and skills that they're hearing the parents say. In Nashville, Lydia Fielder, WSMV4.